After WhatsApp announced that it was updating its policies with Facebook, millions of users migrated to other messaging apps. Telegram and Signal became the two favorites, and that makes total sense, because these apps provide better privacy for their users. It's important to understand that none of these messengers is completely reliable unless you change some critical settings for better data protection. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Welcome to the Teleblog. Here you can find out about social media security and the latest news in the world of technology. Subscribe right now! Cybersecurity expert Zach Doffman claims that Telegram and Signal promise more privacy than other platforms. However, like WhatsApp, these apps have settings that you have to change before using them. Let's start with Telegram. To start using Pavel Durov's messenger on your device, just enter your phone number. Telegram will then ask you to enter the confirmation code that you will receive in an SMS. The problem is that if anyone gets hold of that SMS code, they can hijack your account and gain access to your content. In order to feel safer in Telegram, we recommend the following changes. Setting up the cloud password or two-step verification password. Go to the app settings, then select privacy and security and click two-step verification. Then the messenger will ask you to create password and enter a clue if you need it, as well as an email to restore it. Next stop is changing the privacy settings. In the privacy settings, select phone number and then nobody can see my phone number and my contacts in who can find me by my phone number. You can also limit those who see your latest activity like an online status in Telegram and also those who can invite you to groups and channels. Using a passcode. If other people have access to your device too, it's important to protect your chats. You can just enable a passcode to do so. You're gonna see a lock next to the chats and by tapping it, your chats will get hidden and you will be required to enter a passcode. In the settings, you can also set up the auto lock. An important part of privacy is the Devices tab. Here you can see your active sessions, meaning which devices your account is open on. I suggest you check this information from time to time. If you see a suspicious active session, click Terminate all other sessions. Telegram also has secret chats between users that offer encryption from one device to another. To start a secret chat, go to a chat with your contact, click on their name, and then select More to start a secret chat. On Android, you also need to first tap the user's name and then tap on the three-lined menu at the top left and choose Start a secret chat. And the last thing about Telegram security is a self-destruct timer. In a secret chat, you can set a timer to delete your messages, as in a regular chat, it's not available. Users can also set a timer for deleting a picture. It's simple. Select a picture and after a long press on the Send button, choose Set Timer. So thanks to these settings, you will be able to make your communication in Telegram as secure as possible. In a sec, we'll sort out the WhatsApp and Signal settings and what you need to do to feel safe. Despite the updated security policy, WhatsApp keeps attracting a large number of people. And in fact, you can still use this messenger, but it's crucial to change some critical settings to stay safe. First of all, avoid the malicious content you get, such as unknown links or attachments. Next, disable the auto-saving of the image you get in your phone gallery. It's also worth turning on a two-step verification so that hackers couldn't get into your account by deceiving you. To do this, select Account in the settings and click on Two-step verification. It's necessary to activate it and set a six-digit passcode. If you wish, you can also enter your email to restore the passcode in case you forget it. Another important security step in WhatsApp is to disable chat backup. Although messages are protected as they are sent, if you back up WhatsApp to Apple's or Google's cloud, their backups are not encrypted, and it's dangerous. Warren's expert Zach Doffman. To disable this option, you need to go to Settings, select Chat, and tap the Chat Backup. 
Let me remind you that WhatsApp gets a lot more private information than other messengers. It's all because of their updated policy. In my recent videos, I've done some research on what happened and what to do next, and I really think you should check these videos out. I'll leave the links in the description box. And next, we're gonna talk about Elon Musk's signal. If you're using it, it's essential to change the following settings. In general, Signal app has practically the same advantages and restrictions as Telegram in terms of security, but so far the functionality of Signal leaves much to be desired. First step, enable registration lock. This will prevent anyone else from accessing your chat history if your account gets hacked. To do this, click your profile picture at the top left of the screen, select Privacy, Signal Pin and find Registration Lock. The app will warn you that if you forgot your pin, which is by the way mandatory, you may be locked out of your account for up to 7 days. Below, enable the screen lock option, which will require your biometric data or passcode every time you open Signal. It's also important to disable the preview of notifications. You can do this by tapping Notifications, then selecting Show, and then disable all the options you need there. For the Android users, Doffman recommends making the signal as a default messaging app. If you do this, the expert argues texting will be secure and more encrypted than usual. For the same Android users, it's also important to disable making screenshots. In the settings, we go to the privacy settings and there enable screen protection. By changing these settings to the messengers, you will be much more safer. Regarding WhatsApp and Facebook policies, there is another little thing that you should know. I'm gonna tell you about it in a moment, but before that, subscribe to the channel, please, and you won't miss any news. Click the buttons and welcome to our community. Yes, WhatsApp collects much more data than Signal or Telegram, but Zach Doffman warns that apps like Facebook, his Messenger, Google, Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok also collect a very large amount of information. The expert says that if you're not avoiding the apps I just mentioned, then WhatsApp is not your biggest concern. In his view, there is much more serious problem with Facebook's plans to integrate WhatsApp with the Facebook Messenger and Instagram. The idea of Facebook is to create one giant messaging space that will unite all the audiences. Doffman concluded that this would be an even greater threat to privacy than it is now. But you already know what to do. Start with the steps I gave you above, migrate to other messengers and be safe. And share this video with everyone you care about so they know what to do too. Give us a thumbs up if you're up for more security and more privacy. This is the Telebloke channel, subscribe and be trendy.